Okay, welcome back today with Chef Ricardo. Chef Ricardo cooking. Today we're gonna make you some Jamaican fried dumpling. This is a Jamaican tradition, a Jamaican dish, and everyone in this world love Jamaican fried dumpling. So first of all, what you need to do when you go to the supermarket or your local shop, you need to get some self-rising flour. Very easy and simple. Um, I got 1.5 kilogram of plate of, of self-rising flour. I'm not gonna use the whole of it. I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use some of it and then I'm gonna leave some back inside of the bag. I'm using about about at least a quart, three quarter of it, the 1.5 kilogram of self-rising flour. Then what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna put a teas, a spoon of sugar inside of it. I will use a spoon and a half of sugar, tablespoon, and then what I'm gonna do next now, I'm gonna put some salt, not too much salt, I'm using quarter, quarter tablespoon, table of salt inside of it. Then I have some butter, I'm using a pinch of butter inside of it. Then what I'm gonna do now, I got some milk. You can use either water or milk, I got at least half liters of milk, that means 500 grams of milk or so, inside of, it's right here in my measurement cup. So what I'm gonna do now, you're gonna take a little time, pour this inside of it and take a little take time, break away the butter because the butter already a little bit, little bit odd. So you take a little time and put the butter in pieces, and rub up the flour in pieces, so just like this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my little time and add the milk to it. Take a little time, pour, pour, not too much and then you take a little time and mix it. If you need more milk, you can always add more milk, but that's easy amount of milk which I do have at the moment. So, I'm taking my little time and adding it. So today we're gonna have, I'm gonna show you how you can make you some, uh, some Jamaican grey canned beef and fried dumpling. This is a nice, beautiful Jamaican tradition dish, so we all love it, everyone know that Jamaican fried dumpling is beautiful and nice. So for we're gonna need some more milk. So I'm already used half liter of milk, so we're gonna need some more. So milk. as I say, we're gonna need some more milk. So I put one and a half liter, quarter liter of milk. Uh, so in back in my cup, measurement cup. So take a little time, get it together. Remember, in my other video, I'm gonna show you how the dough gonna be sticky on that hand, but don't pay that any mind. It can't be moved. Take your time, add in more milk. And as I said before, you can either use water or milk to make your dough. So this is the dough which we are mixing up at the moment. Looking really nice and beautiful. Oh wow, that's too much milk, but that's fine. So as you can see, it's getting right there. If you need more flour, if you're gonna be too sticky, you can always add some more flour inside of the bowl from your bag so we're not gonna need any more milk so as you can see looking really nice and beautiful so far guys remember every time when you're gonna make a flour always wash your hands it's very important and make sure your bowl is clean before you put your flour because this is really hygienic so you have to be careful when you're mixing the flour make sure your surface is clean and now, so this is beautiful and nice so you can see what I'm talking about really nice one so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna leave this for 10 more minutes just to make it make the, the, the milk penetrate through it and then you get really soft and nice and easy to make so as you can see the dough is ready now all you need to do is kneading it take out all of the starch out of so you're putting all the strength down in it when you're kneading it. That's how Jamaican make the dumpling. So you have to put all the strength down inside of it. Really nice and beautiful Jamaican fried dumpling. I'm just showing you the way how you can make your dumpling. Very easy and simple from Chef Ricardo. So when you look at this now, this is really nice and beautiful. I'll show you guys, look at this. Beautiful dumpling. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Look at it. Really nice. I'm just gonna leave this for 10 more minutes and that's it. Make it stay there and get it. Re when you, when the, when the best way to make a dumpling is to make it from overnight and put it in your fridge. The next day when you use it, it is totally different. It does feel really nice and soft and, oh, and just when you make it, it does feel really nice. 
So, this is it. So, we're gonna leave this for 10 more minutes and we see what next. We move to the next one. Okay, as I gonna say to you, this is the fried dumpling dough. We got some lovely sweet corn, and this is the grace corn beef, and this is some seasoning for the corn beef with the sweet corn. And the menu today, we're gonna do you some fried dumpling, and we're gonna do you some grace Jamaican grace cook up salt grace corn beef today. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be nice, beautiful combination. Fried dumpling with corn beef. This is Chef Ricardo recipe. I know we're gonna do some fried dumpling just so you guys can learn how to do Jamaican fried dumpling from Chef Ricardo today. Lovely. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make some fried dumpling. I already have one inside of it just to try to see how it looks. So I'm gonna make you one now just to show you how they look like when they make it the fried dumpling. Then this is the way they look like. I'm gonna put this one inside of it. Don't turn up your your, your, your fire your fire too high because you don't want it to be burned. So turn it on a little bit low to get that beautiful cooking. So I'm gonna put one more inside of it. Really nice and beautiful Jamaican fried dumpling from Chef Ricardo today. I'm gonna put the camera up on me right now just to show you all how you make them when you're making them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir up just a little piece like this, take a little time and put it together like this. And then press it out in your hand. It's two way you can either roll it and then you put it in the aisle like this. Really simple and easy from Chef Ricardo. So as I can see, the dumpling looking really nice and beautiful. They are ready. This one is ready so far. I'm gonna just take out this one out of the pot. So when you take them out of the pot, the beautiful about it, you need to put it like in something like this, with some tissue, with some napkin inside of it, some survey inside of it, and then put it down and make it oil take time come out of it. So I'm taking out this one because this one is ready. Looking really nice and beautiful. Look at this beautiful Jamaican fried dumpling from Chef Ricardo. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna try one of these dumplings to show you what's going on. This is one of the dumplings, I'm gonna break it in half. You can see it is really fried, looking really nice and beautiful, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna share with some with the beef to show you how it looks on the plate. Really nice and beautiful Jamaican corn beef with Chef Ricardo fried dumpling. Beautiful one. This is really nice and beautiful, this is a fried dumpling. And this is the corn beef, the grace corn beef, the sweet corn, the pepper, the, the onion, the spring oil, and everything over the really nice and beautiful one from Chef Ricardo. Guys, you will love this recipe. If you follow my recipe, you can go around. This is just beautiful and nice from Chef Ricardo today. Enjoy it, and it is beautiful to have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have it for anything. It is beautiful from Chef Ricardo. As you can see, look at this beautiful Jamaican fried dumpling. When you brought them in half, this is what happened. Beautiful and nice from Chef Ricardo. And you have to just be careful because they're already warm and hot from Chef Ricardo. Beautiful one. Look after yourself and remember Chef Ricardo website, www.chefricardo.co.uk. See you in my next video with my jerk chicken tomorrow.